<coughs> so surgeon helps us to tighten up the intradermals better. snip the loop off and then we want to bury all of the knot very important it must bury so yeah probing around trying to find somewhere where the middle in the needle trying to find somewhere where the needle just slips in like that nice and easy that means the knot should bury so pull on that and then pull on the skin. It's like it's gone. There we go, definitely gone. So that's our closure. What we see here, we've got this little gap. This came from when that we had not formed and we sort of kept going. So just to show you how to close up a small gap. So we call it an intradermal mattress, so it just goes through one side intradermally. A nice decent bite. And then we're going through the other side intradermally. Nice decent bite without coming through. Doesn't seem strong enough that one, so it's going to go again. Okay, just gone through okay. So then we just tighten this up. And tie off the surgeons. And snip the tail off. And again, we need to bury this. So, again, you're just really trying to find somewhere where it just passes through very easily. So you just probe your needle around where the knot is. I just went in and slipped into that little bit there. So that should bury because it just slipped in. If you're forcing your needle in, it's not going to bury. You need to find an area where it just sort of slips in. There we go. And that sort of patched up that intradermal. Uh.